Ross is actually here in the studio with us. It's so lovely to see you it's great. properly. So, I think I'm the only person not in strike. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> when you came into the UK. <laughs> just came in for a warm and a cup of tea. Oh, jeez. Um, and also, I'm, I'm just, it's a real flying visit, so any friends, I'm not going to see anyone on this trip. Just I'm say hello back. to them all now. Exactly. Hi to everyone. Sorry, I won't be able Hi to, to see you. Hi to everyone that knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Because it is, it's like zooming in, zooming out. That's right, but great a big, big you. superstar. I'm rushing back to LA to interview <gasps> just for you. Another exclusive. Wow. More next week. Oh, I can't wait because yeah. they're always so good. Now, look, I want the, the new trailer obviously has dropped again for uh, Harry and Meghan's um, new series, mm. causing more controversy, but that's what a trailer is for. Yes. But there's a bit of confusion with this. There one. is confusion because it's, they're saying this thing that they lied and yeah. they lied to protect his brother but didn't lie to protect him or didn't try and protect him as well. So we've got the split screen because I think Netflix did this deliberately. I know people are saying it was a mistake, yeah. but basically, and one you think, are they talking about the palace? Mm. And the other one, it looks like they're talking about the media. See, that's I interesting. I think they've done this deliberately so that we're talking about it, as indeed we are. As indeed we are. Yeah. As indeed we are, which is very interesting. Um, how has it gone down and this whole... You know, we've, we've seen, mm. obviously seen the first lot, which I thought was kind of like stuff that we'd heard before. Yeah, I, you know? I thought it was dull, I'm being honest. Yeah, it wasn't. You, you were kind of sitting me, OK, it was, it was interesting in the fact that you saw these really personal mm. photographs, which I was very surprised about, yeah. that we, we actually saw in their house and their kids and all the rest of it. But there was no big bombshell, no. really. But then, judging by this trail, there might be in Thursday, but <laughs> we don't know. Be. But we thought that the last time. I know. How many times have you and I talked about it? OK. <laughs> It's yeah. interesting, isn't it? Because it's sort of freedom from what? And what about their house in Frogmore, I think it was? The, co yeah, the cottage. The cottage, yeah. The cottage, yeah. <laughs> cottage <laughs> that they spent their own money on, it has to be said, but that was a home. I don't, I don't understand. No, I'd, I would love to sit them down and say, what is it you're hoping to achieve? That's a what really good point. What is the next yeah. stage? What do you really want? Do yes. you want a bit of quietness, a bit of privacy? Do you want to carry on doing charity? I'd love to know exactly what they're hoping to achieve. Yes. Um, you know, Tyler Perry, you saw there, he was the one who said, I applaud them. He was the one who gave them the house Ooh, initially right. in Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. And I've been up to Montecito <laughs> many times. And again, up there, it's very divided. You know, some people really like them because they've helped the community. They helped with a Christmas parade last year. Oh, nice. That's good. Other people just feel it's almost like a kind of new money type thing and they don't mm. like because there's a lot of older money up there oh, in Montecito. Right. So it's a very strange thing. And obviously we don't have the tabloids in America, so there's not that every single day story about them. Mm. Um, so I think it's divided. I think maybe slightly um, going slightly against them, I would say, just right. a little bit from my experience. But I think it's interesting, even coming back and discussing this with people here, everyone's really mixed about it, aren't they? They are. I think everybody's in two minds. Yeah. I mean, I, ju I, I honestly genuinely wish them all the best, but mm. I think this has got to stop. Once this comes out on Thursday, yeah. once the book has come out, they can't just keep talking about their fact. They've got to then build their own life. As you said, yeah. what is it they want to do for yeah. themselves and for their kids? And, and how do they want to stay relevant? For goodness sake, yeah. they've, got, they've got a... Two gorgeous, healthy children. Yeah. They love each other very much. A beautiful big house. It's like, enough already? Yep. Enough, enough, <laughs> enough. Now, tell me, Golden Globes, the nominations are out. Um, there's been a few snubs. A few yeah, there have been. Of course, the Golden Globes, very controversial. Last year, it wasn't on TV at all. They did have the Golden Globes. <laughs> The whole thing about diversity, lack of, uh, of people of colour actually on the voting panel, et cetera, et cetera. A whole lot of controversy, won't bother going into it. But it's coming back, but not on a Sunday night, not the big prime time. It's going to be on a Tuesday oh, in January. But it is back. It'll be interesting to see who actually turns up and who actually goes along. Yeah. And let's give you a few of the nominees. Banshees of Inner Sharon, which is a great movie, a bit of a dark comedy. Uh, Martin McDonough wrote it, directed it, brilliant. Colin Farrell nominated. Brendan Gleeson's great to eight nominations. Uh, you got loads of... Brit oh, Tom Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise snub. But do you remember Tom Cruise returned his Golden Globe oh, after he did. the controversy? I'd forgotten about yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of people have. Ooh, so, so you that's, think they've gone? Mm, well, you returned your last one. We're not going to give you. We're not going to give you another one. You didn't. Either, so they, so yeah, boo to you. But the movie's been nominated, Top but not Gun him. Tom Maverick's been nominated. Ah, right. Elvis, which I absolutely loved, I, that was uh, a great been nominated film. as well. Right. Tom Hanks has been snubbed. Oh, um, as well. Um, I know he's one of your favourites. Love him. He, of course, was an Elvis. Uh, the big one, though, I think Will Smith, Emancipation. It was all this. Is this the comeback of Will Smith right. after obviously all that has gone before? Oh, the Oscars. Nominated for that and uh, not nominated. Movie not nominated. 
it's a big snub. Oh, that is, maybe they just didn't want him to turn up in case there was a hoo ha. Yep. In case there was a hoo ha. Brits <laughs> yes. will be nominated. Daniel Turns... Craig, you've got later on in the show. We have. Who's absolutely brilliant in Glass Onions. He's so good. Um, she's there. You've got Olivia Coleman, Emma Thompson, who was amazing, so brave in that movie as well, getting herself in the beer scuddy, as she we like to say. She certainly did. <laughs> and, and actually, I thought that was a great message to everybody. You know, she, yeah. no vanity at all. No. That's the thing. She's, she's just great. so good. Leslie Manville, brilliant <gasps> actress as well. She's nominated. Uh, Lily James nominated for Pam and Tommy. Um, oh my gosh! Which that's but, when the but funniest... no mention of the Talking Willy. <laughs> because I thought the Talking Willy would have got a nomination. Well, I surely. didn't understand the Talking Willy because the Talking Willy appeared. Can I, yes, I have to stop saying Talking <laughs> Willy. But the Talking Willy did appear. Yes, and then we never saw him again. He made a brief. A brief. A brief. But appearance. a very moving appearance. <laughs> he should have been Golden Globe. <laughs> <laughs> Best Talking Willy. Yes. Golden Glow. Performance by. There we are. Now look. Um, standing ovation. <laughs> You're so naughty. You're so naughty. Um, I think Mariah Carey quite likes Christmas. Absolutely. I don't know why I'm saying well, that. Well, she's made about 80 million so far from uh, <laughs> that brilliant Christmas single. How about this? The last time I saw her in New York, she actually called me. I was in my bath and said, come down and interview me. But watch this. This is her singing with her daughter on stage, oh. away in a manger. Daughter Monroe. I'm not hitting. This is our first duet. Away in a manger, no oh. Oh. That is an aw. I know. It's nice to end on an aw. I know. An eight, another 80 million for Mariah. <laughs> Good change. Number one as well. Good for her. Good. Why not? Why not? Ross, thank you. Thank you. So lovely to see you. It is a Thanks joy to see, to see you. It really is. It's such a shame. It's such a flying visit, but you're, you're heading off to interview that megastar. Cannot wait.